If you want to delve deeper into the story of the Natural Sciences Loop and find out more about how this land was opened up, you need to visit the Living History Centre here at Aramanga. On the edge of the Channel Country, Aramanga is the furthest town from the sea anywhere in Australia. Here you can learn about the amazing feats of the early settlers and how they turned their hand from cattle and sheep to opal mining and then more recently gas and oil production. This mural behind me depicts some of the early stock routes as well as some of the early Cobb Co coach routes. This is Romana, a local resident. She's contributed a lot of her time to the centre. Romana, fantastic. Obviously a massive undertaking. What made you want to get involved in the first place? Well, I'm glad you appreciate it. It's been years and years of work putting together late nights just so that we can pass on the wealth of information that this area has to offer to people that come through and to future generations of children that can learn how their ancestors settled in this area, the hardships they went through, and we'd really love as many people as possible to come through, have a look, check it out. They'll be impressed. The Living History Centre is completely free of charge. It is often unmanned, but very user friendly. You can make your way around at your own pace, have a coffee, watch a video, read some stories, and have a real taste of what it was really like to live in such an isolated and spectacular environment. So for more information on the Natural Sciences Loop, drop into the Visitor Information Centres at Charleville, Quilpie, Thargaminda and Cunnamulla. Look out for the Natural Sciences Loop signs on the road and be sure to log on to www.naturalsciences.com.au